We took Simone B's from 7,400 subscribers to over 55K. And in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly what we did. So if I go over to her account, you could see on the top right, I'm signed into her account. So you know I have access. Before working together, she had pretty much nothing going on on the YouTube side. She had like a couple videos, like a day in the life. She didn't really know what she was doing. Right, she got some hour long interviews cooked up here. And then she started working with us right here. This was our first video. So what we focused on was implementing our YouTube sales funnel framework. This is basically a mix of action-based content, educational content, and social proof. With the action-based and educational content, this funnels people in from the top and brings them into the middle, which is comprised of a free course video along with some social proof content. So if I go back to her account here, everything with these purple videos, these are social proof content. These are all people she's helped make a ton of money through GovTech, which is basically government technology. So it's people People who work in tech but for the government. So here we targeted computer science majors and we told them what they should actually be doing because there's so many benefits for working for the government, right? Like the first 120K that you make overseas working for the government is tax-free. And then there's just a ton of other benefits that I won't get into into this video. And then here we talked about why getting into GovTech is easier than you think. Because from the people in the tech space who know the GovTech industry, they think it's super hard to get there, right? Because it's for the government. Maybe they're going to do some background checks. Maybe they're going to do some crazy stuff. So we right away debunked that objection and then CTA'd her service. And by her service, I mean coaching program like she also has a lot of low ticket products unfortunately i can't disclose her revenue numbers because she told me not to but like when you're getting this much traffic like you know it's working and then next we made another educational video right here why GovTech will never be saturated and we handled the objection that oh tons of people are going to go work for the government now because they think it's easy it's going to be saturated it's the same thing in the biz op space where people think like oh drop shipping is saturated or smma is saturated it's not right? So like, we're just handling that objection here. And then next up, we made our first action-based video together, which is how to get through the GovTech hiring process fast. So this is action-based. We're telling them step-by-step -step what to do, and we're telling them how to do it. And then we CTA our products at the end. And the CTA goes something like, hey, in this video, like I told you a ton of stuff, but you're going to get lost here. You're going to get lost here. You're not going to know what to do here. So that's why you need my program. Boom link in the description. And then next up, we made a viral YouTube video VSL, which was I quit my 275k year tech job, the ugly truth about remote work. So here, like we click baited. I mean, we baited them in, but everybody liked the video. And she even made the news, I think, or like a couple articles. So that was pretty cool. And then here we made an action based video, how I broke into tech in six months. So like you can see action based, action based. And then this is educational. You know, we're telling them stuff. We're not telling them how to do stuff step by step. Like we're pulling in crazy views. And then all these purple ones, again, this is social proof content. So this is more for just giving social proof telling people, hey, we know what we're doing. And then we made a mini free course video, which is how I'd get into GovTech if I had to start over. And then we CTA'd our stuff. And then what we found through our market research is that everybody who was applying for tech jobs, you know, trying to make money, they thought the reason they weren't getting accepted and taken in for interviews is because so many people were applying. So what we did is we made a viral video going over how to find tech jobs with low competition. So this one right here, and we put the LinkedIn logo in it, right? And then once this popped off, we're like, okay, it looks like people really like LinkedIn because, you know, we put the LinkedIn logo in there. So then we made a video on how to apply to 10 tech jobs per day in less than an hour because a a lot of people are like, oh, I want to get a new job, but I don't have enough time. So we made that video for people who think they don't have enough time. So just to cut in the middle here, we're pretty much answering everybody's objections. Like, oh, it's going to take so long to get into GovTech. How do I get into GovTech? What even is GovTech? How to find tech jobs in low competition? We're pretty much answering everything and just giving the step-by-step -step on how to do everything. Of course, we're not going like too, too, too in depth. And what this does is just makes Simone the number one authority figure in her niche. Like there's nobody else cooking this hard in GovTech. Like she went from not popping up to now she just pops up like everywhere. You type in GovTech, she's there. So look, if somebody stumbled across her channel like six months ago, but they weren't ready to get into the GovTech space, by the time their conversion window elapses six months later, and then they come into that conversion window where they're like, okay, shit. I need to get a job in GovTech. They're going to be like, hmm, who can help me with this? Simone. So since she's consistently there posting on YouTube, she has tons of content out on the internet. People can't forget about her. Like she's unescapable. And the cool thing is with this YouTube sales funnel, if somebody watches one video and then watches another video and another one on her channel, YouTube just goes like, okay, Simone is really good at keeping people on the app, which makes us more money from ad revenue. So we're going to push out Simone's videos to more people. And the cool part is that not many people talk about the people that the videos get pushed to are similar to the original demographic that had high watch time. So like, let's say some dropshipping dude landed on her channel, right? Which has nothing to do about dropshipping. And then they click off within 10 seconds naturally because they're not interested in the content. But then somebody who's into GovTech watches like three videos in a row. They watch like the whole thing. Then YouTube's going to understand, okay, we shouldn't push this to people interested in Shopify dropshipping. Let's push it to more people who are interested in GovTech. And then this creates a 
crazy flywheel. So if you're watching this video and you're someone like Simone who's good at what they do, right? They have social proof, they have stuff to back up the claims that they're making. You literally have everything you need to pop off on YouTube. As long as you have the right strategy and the correct YouTube sales funnel and a team on the back end to help you fulfill on this and stay consistent, literally the sky is the limit. The thing with Simone, I don't know if you guys watched the interview yet that dropped with her. She was struggling to stay consistent and make videos. She didn't know what to talk about. She didn't know what to say in the videos. She didn't have time to edit it. And she couldn't trust these cheap freelance editors who had just a ton of spelling mistakes and couldn't meet a deadline for the life of them. So when she started working with us, she literally just had to do nothing but record. Like we came up with the ideas, we did the scripts, we did literally everything. And she added tons of money to her business through YouTube. On top of that, another cool side effect is that people would just see her at the gas station and be like, yo, you're the GovTech person. Like I watch you on YouTube. Like they just knew who she was and she just had crazy clout. So look, if you want to attract your dream clients through organic YouTube content without any ad spend, you need to work with us because we are the number one YouTube agency in the space. Like this is just some of our social proof. Eddie Cumberbatch, 54K a month to 430K a month in four months. Daniel Fazio, additional 108K in 82 days. Matt's made over 40K from YouTube by now, so I have to update this. He closes 10.7K painfuls on the regular. Off main, first deal closed in three weeks with no existing audience for multiple four figures. That was just the first deal, but he's made tens of thousands from YouTube. Simone, which is what I'm recording right now. Matt, he's currently booking five to 10 calls a month from YouTube, and he closed the 6K painful yesterday from YouTube, or this was like, two weeks ago. This guy who I have to censor, he made 8K cash collected on a brand new channel after posting four YouTube videos. And then this was my first client, Charles Tishnor. He went from averaging 400 views a day to 3000 plus every single day. Like imagine having your dream clients watching your content every single day, like videos you made way back, right? Like some of our videos we made for Charles way back in the day, like late 2022 and then early 2023, still getting views to this day and popping up in search. ZTH training went from 17K a month to 62K a month in 30 days. And we got 520K views on our first YouTube video, which is a viral YouTube VSL. And the next up we have Anthony Eclipse, first video, eight qualified calls and two closes at a 3K price tag. So he was all right, positive off the jump. So look, if you wanna get results just like Simone and the rest of our clients at TickScale, you need to hit the first link in the description. And second thing I want to mention, if you want to know how to come up with YouTube video ideas on your own using AI, hit the second link in the description. Because I pretty much made an AI that generates YouTube video ideas for you. I made 100 fill in the blank templates and then the AI plugs in your offer and your niche. So pretty much you can say goodbye to videos that don't get clients, creative block or blending in with the crowd. But yeah, that's it. If you want it on a done for you basis, hit the first link. If you want to kind of learn how to do it yourself, hit the second link. But I assume most of you are like busy business owners who don't have time to manage this whole system, manage editors, hire editors, get a copywriter, come up with ideas, write scripts, all that stuff. So we'll just do it down for you. But anyways, you pick, hit one of the links, first one or the second one, and that's it. Peace.